One of the biggest challenges facing any uh, beginner guitar student is developing a good sense of rhythm and understanding strumming and how to, how to take those basic chord shapes that you've learned uh, in open position and actually turn that into something that sounds like music. And the first step is going to be uh, developing a strong sense of rhythm. And I would say that a strong sense of rhythm really is, is going to be the most important asset you could possibly have for any style of music. And uh, many times the best players are not necessarily the flashiest players, but really the, the guys who are the most solid. And uh, they just seem to play, everything they play just seems to have a perfect sense of time and rhythm. And um, so the first thing we really want to do is start with the three basic chords we'll be using throughout these exercises, and that's going to be a basic D major chord, a C add 9 chord, and a G chord in open position. And some of these exercises are going to be very, very basic, uh, designed for people who have sort of just gotten into guitar playing and uh, want to understand how to keep rhythm. And the first thing that you really need to do whenever you play any musical instrument is relax your muscles. Uh, that goes for every muscle in your body, really, but especially, of course, your arms and your fingers and, and your hands. Uh, rhythm really is going to come from a point of relaxation. And if you tense up your muscles, everything will kind of sound stiff and uh, uptight, so it won't really work very well. 4-4 um, four, four time really refers to four beats per measure. It's the most common time signature. In fact, it's called common time. And of course, some songs can be slow and some songs can be fast or anywhere in between. But most songs deal with four beats per measure. So if I were to just do basic uh, strums, down strums with the pick, four strums per chord. <laughs> So that's not too exciting, obviously, as a rhythm, but it is solid. So that's the first step. If you're, if you're having trouble with that, just keeping basic quarter notes, that would be the first step. And you could just do an exercise where you're just strumming four D chords, four C add nine chords, and go ahead and strum two measures, or eight strums of the G chord. So it'll just sound like this. So just a simple development of solid rhythm with quarter notes, uh, an important step for any beginner. And um, I want to mention also that I chose these three chords for the exercise because they have the third finger in common. You can see that that doesn't move. Also, they're, they're sort of MVPs of chords. You really seem to see this little progression in a lot of music where you have the D chord, the C add 9, and the G. And notice, of course, from the C add 9 to the G, the third and fourth finger don't move. It's only your two strongest fingers, the first and second, that move. Another reason why that's a popular chord progression. And uh, so let's take a look at some eighth note strumming patterns next. G chord, C chord, A minor, and D chord make up a song. I can leave my first and second finger in place. My ring finger slides into the second fret of the third string. 